number 48 surplus detergents are no surplus detergents are ideal for use with hard water as they do not produce soap scum and surplus detergents are usually made from crude oil and are mixed with high amounts of sulfuric acid as well as sodium hydroxide so they they do react with hard water but they do not form scum so they are not made from fats they are not all biodegradable and they are not inorganic materials so d is our answer 49 a solution when treated with sulfur dioxide gas becomes green the solution contains potassium now when sulfur dioxide passes through a solution of potassium dichromate we get a green color due to the conversion of the chromi chromium 7 ion to the chromium 3 ion so the chromium 7 chromium 6 sorry is orange but the chromium 3 ion is green so the answer is C number 50 a suitable drying agent for the laboratory preparation of ammonia is so calcium oxide would be the most suitable there the answer is A. 51. When copper 2 carbonate is heated alone in a dry test tube, a gas is evolved and a black residue is formed. This gas is expected to. So, copper carbonate is not thermally stable and it can be decomposed by heat, producing carbon dioxide gas, which is an acidic gas. So, it is able to not sorry not able to turn red litmus paper blue because it is acidic carbon dioxide gas does not relight a glowing sprint splint that is oxygen decolorizes acidified aqueous potassium permanganate that is not possible so d is our answer it reacts with calcium hydroxide to produce calcium carbonate and that is insoluble and white so the answer is D. 52 an element that is a non-metal. Now non-metals react with oxygen to form acidic oxides. So our answer is C. Fifty-three. Which of the following observations is likely when excess aqueous ammonia is added to a solution of copper 2 sulfate and the mixture is shaken so excess ammonia in copper 2 sulfate causes a double displacement reaction in which copper hydroxide is precipitated and further addition of the ammonia results in a complex form between the ammonia and the copper hydroxide and that gives a deep blue color so that's C. 54 and 55 refers to the options aluminum, copper, iron, and sodium. Which metal reacts vigorously with water to produce a strongly alkaline solution? So we know that sodium is a very reactive metal, more reactive than all of the others. So it reacts vigorously with water to produce sodium hydroxide so our answer will be D 55 which metal has an alloy which is used in the manufacture of aircraft so aluminum lightweight but strong so A is our answer 56 which of the following reactions is least likely to occur and looking at the remembering the reactivity series magnesium can displace zinc copper can displace silver iron can displace copper but lead cannot displace iron 
so d is not likely 57 the main substances responsible for acid rain are we know that chlorofluorocarbons are responsible for damage to the ozone layer lead compounds causes pollution in the atmosphere not necessarily acid rain carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide does not lead to a lot of acid rain carbon monoxide itself does not lead to acid rain sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide able to form sulfurous and sulfuric acid when dissolved in water so d is our answer Fifty-eight. Which of the following observations is expected when aqueous silver nitrate is added to aqueous potassium chloride? In this reaction, we get silver chloride being formed, which is an insoluble white substance. So a white precipitate appears, and that's C. Fifty-nine. Which metal appears between copper and aluminum in the reactivity series and is an important component in hemoglobin? So even if you are not aware of the reactivity series at this point, you know that iron is a main component of hemoglobin. And so iron is the answer. That's B. Number 60, last question. Which of the following gases will give a positive test with dry cobalt chloride paper? Now dry cobalt chloride paper sorry, is blue. And it can react with water. If it reacts with water vapor, it will become pink. And so D is our answer. So that's it. Remember to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel, Manilikwan JM. And follow us on Instagram at Online Science Tutor, Facebook at C6 Science Tutor 1. And for paid tutoring services visit us at onlinesciencetutor.net thank you for watching